Hey, what's going on, my boys ranch family? How are y'all doing? Um, I see we're going through it as a nation with this stupid racism stuff, man. Listen. All the moms and all the pops raised us better in the community of the boys ranch raised us better treated us even though i'm a black i'm a black man i was a black kid there treated us like color was not even like color wasn't even a problem and it wasn't it wasn't I see. I know y'all see my post in the group, but thank you for everybody that came by and showed love to it. And I'm going to tell you something straight from the heart. I loved every minute that I lived on the boys ranch. It made me feel like it made me feel like I finally belong to somebody. Somebody somebody actually cares enough about me to call me their son, to call me their brother, to call me whatever. It was just one of those it's it's one of those situations when I look at the world and I was like, why can they not take a blueprint of what we done at the boys ranch? It it sickens me because the the things that you at the Florida Sheriff's Boys Ranch taught us, these people are doing the complete opposite. The complete opposite of what I've learned in and, and because of you guys, I have this swag. I have this swagger and this bounce about me that I can walk into any place and light up any room without being judged from the color of my skin. There are people like people that grew up, I mean, and I know I was there for before a lot of you guys, like Dwayne, Tony, uh, I mean, it was it's a few of us. Kenya, Cortez. It was a, it was a few of us there. But I promise you. The only time I felt like I was out of place is when I first got to the ranch. But after that, when I seen these dudes, you know, I had to take my knocks and bumps when I got there. But when I got after I got there a few months later, four months later. I became a brother. I became. One of them, I became one of you guys, I became we became each other. And if you fight one of us, you're going to have to fight all of us. I mean, it wasn't about black versus white then. It was again, it was the town kids being jealous of us ranchers because we were we were the dudes. I mean, we were the, we were the for lack of a better term, we were just we were just those dudes, man. So, and I seen, uh, I forgot who it was. Uh, please do me this one favor. And, you know, and I understand what you was trying to do. You're saying all lives matter. I mean, I've been watching, I've actually witnessed people getting jumped on for saying that phrase. So I'm just asking you, please do not say that in the presence of people that are angry and upset right now because they're not going to see it like that. They're not going to see it all lives matter when all of this melee is going on and all of it's wrong. Let's not get it twisted, but there is no place I felt safer. There is no place that kept me safer than the Florida Sheriff's Boys Ranch. And if I had to do it all over again, 
I would be there now. I mean, just take me back to 11 or 12 years old and I'd be there all over again. <laughs> Cause y'all guys made me feel like family y'all. And if, if it was up to me and I tell everybody this, it was up to me. <laughs> I'd put uh, parents boys ranch on my birth certificate. <laughs> I'd put that on my birth certificate. I just wanted to let y'all know that, man. Y'all, you all are just, you, the Boys Ranch is my world. It's not a day that goes by. I don't think of a day that happened at the Boys Ranch. It's not one day that goes by. Don't. So I just want y'all to know that. I love you guys. Help me. <laughs> Watch me as I try to end racism. I love y'all. Pray for me. Boys Ranch for life. We out.